Mega Tyranitar is going to be making its way into the raids in Pokemon Go. So let's go over the best counters and what moves and weaknesses it's going to have. So Mega Tyranitar is going to be a very strong Pokemon. And it's going to be a dark and rock type. With that typing, it's going to be two times weak to fighting, which is going to be nice. So we are going to try and uh, exploit that a little bit with most of our counters. But then it's also going to be weak to ground, bug, steel, water, grass, and fairy. So it does have quite a few weaknesses, but we're mainly going to be leaning into that fighting type and trying to ex make that to our advantage with most of these Pokemon. And its attack is going to be rated at a 255, defense at a 229, and an HP at about 9,000. So those are going to be not bad stats, and that's going to be at a 15-15, but this Pokemon is going to be very strong being in a Mega Form. And now it's going to be at a shiny level, so we can now get it shiny. If it's in the wild from now on, if you do find a Tyranitar in the wild, it's going to be able to get that shiny chance. And Pokebattler says it's going to be about a 1.1 chance to take this down. So about a little over one player may be doable. I'd recommend starting with at least five or above like a normal for your first one. And then if you want to go down, go ahead, go down and bring it down because you are going to need some counters for this. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the counters. So these counters are going to be based off Iron Tail and Brutal Swing. It does get Fire Blast, so that not being a stab move, but being a very powerful move against Steel types, since we are going to have a chance of using a Steel Fighting type with Lucario, it does make it a little bit difficult. But to start off, we're going to have Tyrakion with Double Kick Sacred Sword. Very strong at number one. We're going to have Mega Blaziken coming in at number two with Counter Focus Blast. Then we're going to have Keldeo at number three with Low Kick Sacred Sword. And these are all going to be pretty much powered all the way up. Keldeo is going to be a little bit more difficult. These legendaries can be more difficult since you can't really get their candies that easily. So, especially the mythicals, like Keldeo being at max level is going to be very difficult if you did not have the candies. So I do not expect a lot of those to show up, but if you are using them, that is perfectly fine. Very good counter. Then we got Shadow Machamp, counter dynamic punch, very strong Pokemon, and then right followed right behind a Shadow Hariyama. Hariyama being able to be way up here is very interesting. I know Shadows are very strong, and having that counter dynamic punch on him right behind the Shadow Machamp, and we already know how strong that is, very good. Then we have Lucario at number six with Counter Aura Sphere. This is where that Fire Blast can get a little bit touchy because he having that Steel type, we're not going to want to take a lot of Fire Blast from pretty much this guy in general because that is his base. That is his best power move is going to be Iron Tail Fire Blast. That'll be his best setup for most damage. It only tweaks out, I mean, Iron Tail and, and a Dark Steel type move set a little bit, but... Him being a steel type with that Lucario is going to not help him in any way. Then at number seven, we have Kong Kelder, which is going to be counter dynamic punch. Pretty much a lot of these are going to have that counter move and dynamic punch to just give you the best fighting you can. Followed by a Shadow Blaziken with counter focus blast. Mega Lopunny with double kick focus blast. If you are trying to boost your candies for this, you can use a Mega Aerodactyl, which is a rock type. It is our only rock Mega, though. And then you can have Mega Absol. You get those dark type Megas to go ahead and boost those dark candies, and you get more candy. So very helpful if you are trying to get a Tyranitar to Mega. But then we got Mega Gallade, Machamp, Hariyama. Normal Hariyama being 12th on here at Counter Dynamic Punch, which is followed right behind the, the normal Machamp at 11 is going to be very, very good, which is amazing. So, like, Hariyama being able to be above Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, is going to be very interesting. And then if you do want some lower counters, you can be looking at a Shadow Hitmonlee with Double Kick Brick Break. He comes in at 28, a Heracross at 29 with Counter Close Combat, and then Embor at Low Kick Focus Blast at 30. So, like, he is the 30th best Pokemon to, like, round this out. So. Very good counters here. We should be able to take this down really easy with some of these. I would just watch out for the Keldeo, the Lucario. If he does get that Focus Blast, it's not going to be a good day for us. So let's go ahead and jump into the Weather Boosts. So for those Weather Boosts, 
in clear and sunny is going to be boosting that fire, that fire blast. So we really don't want to be taking those in that weather. It's going to hurt a lot. And the, your Lurcario is most likely not going to be living. So make sure you keep that in mind with the weather advantages. So then in a cloudy weather, we are going to be boosting our fighting types. So we are going to be boosting our fighting types, which is going to be amazing. Even if you do bring a Megalopunny even further. Make sure if you want to go ahead and maybe try and solo or duo this really easy. It's a cloudy weather. You pretty much might not have any problem. And then Snow is going to be boosting that steel type damage from him with the Iron Tails. And Fog will be boosting the dark types from Bite, Crunch, and Brutal Swing. So this Tyranitar is going to be very interesting and very strong. I see him being very used within raids as we go further. So let me know if you're going to try and grind out Mega Tyranitar in the comment section down below and what kind of Pokemon you're going to be bringing from this setup. I'm definitely going to be bringing my Heracross. That's just me because I love Heracross. Let me know if you want to see more Pokemon Go content on the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.